It was just to be here. Welcome to the lab. We're going to do some Chinese American karate, which is also referred to as JKD. Chinese American karate. <laughs> right? And so much. So we're going to do some tracking, right? And Sifu Tong, Sifu Tong, Sifu Francis Fong talks about this all the time. Going slow and being relaxed, right? With JKD, we're used to getting in here just, oh, trapping and things like that. And I was talking to Sammy about this last Thursday, and this is all we did for two hours, right? I'm just going to move his hand out of the way, right? and he's going to block my hand here, and I'm just going to time. That's all I'm going to do is pull this hand out and time. That's it, right? I'm not trying to cross here. I'm not trying to let it cross over here. I'm just putting my hand in the middle, just like that. If I can get both hands connected to his, that's great. If not, that's okay too. Put my hands in the middle. It's not pushing down. It's not pulling up. It's not pulling side to side, right? That's all it's doing. Because again, if I trap really hard here, which has merit, this does work. I've got this entire distance here to jump up to Tan Sao, to Pino Sao, to Jon Sao, to Lop Sao, right? Whereas if I go here, it's quick. The distance I have to cover is half that. Okay, so that's what we're doing. It's just nice and relaxed. It's not about trapping hard, just there. So um, I can chung choy, I can sut so. I don't recommend bujin because I could catch fingers here, right? Time pull my hand up, right? The other part of this, we were going here and then just touching. We weren't even pocking on this side. It wasn't here to get here to do all this and do all this crazy stuff. It was just to be here, okay? Because if I can't get my hand out into here, even touching, then I'm not going to be able to pock or lop or cow sow, mouse sow, jow sow, anything. Or punch. or punch, right? If I can't get to here and make that contact here to move the barrier, right? I'm not even going to be able to hit. So that's all we're going to do too, right? One, tongue, and touch. So he goes, and touch. That's it. And again, you're getting somebody that's like, nope, just touching. Yeah, touch. That's all we're doing. It's about getting that hand out of it. Because if I don't get my hand out of here, Shane Jets out here or pulls my hands down, now both of my hands are trapped. It's no good for me, right? Hand out, touch. And if your hand ends up Tan Sao, Yu Sao, or Jon Sao, that's all good. Okay? It's the wedge that we're looking at right now. So, good to go. Let's do it. about. <laughs> Pox, tons, wedges, all sorts of good stuff, right? So over here, right, we're pocking, tying, and then just touching, right? Right there, right? Yes. Is this done for a combat perspective? No, nobody even fights like this, right? Gotcha, Shane goes. Tag, I'm in. Right, but if he wants to make that jump to that over here to get in here and crash and do that, yeah. But you need to have the timing and the distance and the structure and the space to do these things. Again, we talked about this last week too, is if he traps, he wedges, and I go like this, he can't trap anymore, right? If we could, he could chase me down and punch me in the face till my hands come up, and then, or I drop to the ground, and then my hands come up. And then you're trapping while I'm unconscious. <laughs> he punched me in the chest, my arms pop up, he trap me, and lay back down, he punch me in the chest, it's CPR. Right? So now we're gonna start from lower ends, right? He does the same thing, wedge, and then, right? So all we're doing. Again, we're going slow. Slow is good. Can we go fast? Yes. Is there a need to go fast? No. It's like if Shane punches at me. It's like that was awesome. And it looks impressive sometimes. Deal shaking her head. No, not really. It doesn't. Because he's punching at me like this. So why do I need you to be like super fast and throwing down really hard? Okay, now if he punches at me fast, I'm like, oh crap, and I'm trying to do all that, that's different then. If I can pull all that off while he's doing that, that would be awesome. Okay, training, <laughs> right? Again, this is all educational. And okay? this is all for you guys, all of us, everybody else to learn. So, again, low reference point, up and in and then.
And then Dave was asking about pressure, which is always a good thing. So you guys are up here, and there's resistance here. You get in here, and there's resistance here. Then you're just going around the resistance, right? And you just go back in, right? Whether I cover this and go, whether the sand just goes. Anytime he's pushing me, I'm just relaxed. Which Theo and Shane are super relaxed, right? Just is really hard for Shane to be super rigid here. Right? And I just go around it, right? And at some point when he's pushing in and I come around, that creates those openings, right? Again, this isn't necessarily from a fighting situation, right? But you're looking at the, the pressure, right? And the tactile sensitivity here and things like that, right? Because if he's pushing here, it doesn't make sense to try and get past this and hammer my way in, right? When there are other things available. You know, there's lots of things to do besides Stephen Chain doing it here. I'm really rigid. He's pounding his way in at some point. Why would he pound on that arm? That door is nice and solid. But he can go around to the side and there's another door open. So again, a little off the beat path, but we're back here, right? Low reference, up. So pain choy, hock, wedge, and up. Again, this could be anything. Tonsile, chomps up, use up, palm up, palm sideways, palm down. Okay, can also get to it through here. I'm trying to hit here, right? And you come up. And it could be Shane's blocking my shot here to come up. But generally, we don't do this and jump on where we're making the attachment to block, but it could happen, right? I'm trying to hit him and he puts his arm in. Okay? Usually it's him trying to get to me and I put my arm in there and rope it in. So again, as slow as you want. As fast as you want. But if we're going here and we're doing this really fast, it's like that's not what we're looking for right now. <laughs> At least with our training, right? I want that smooth motion, that smooth, clean motion, right? Because when you get into the mix of things, that smooth, clean motion as the dust starts to rise. It's very jittery, very dirty, and you can lose up to 80% of your form as you, as you get into an altercation, depending on what you're doing. The hitting going on the wall, the environment, your adrenaline, fear, all sorts of things play a factor in there, right? But again, even with Shane and I standing here punching each other with really good form and things like that, and all that, this starts to really go away. If you watch MMA, very rarely, not to pick on Chuck Liddell, but Chuck Liddell. You watch Chuck Liddell hit the mitts, Chuck's like, pop, 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 pop. it's very tight, and then you watch Chuck fight. And you remember what Chuck was like fighting. Boom! And it worked. Okay, so to teach that, but it'll work for him. It's the same thing here. So, okay, good, clean motion, right? Then you can add the speed. As long as you're not getting sloppy. If you're going so fast that you're sloppy, then you're just, I don't see you're wasting time, right? But again, when I mean, you can do it slow and clean and then add the speed in, then you'll have good, fast, clean motion. So, no slop. It's like the, not practice makes perfect, but perfect practice makes perfect. <clears throat> well said. <laughs> um, the next side of drill is the uh, pox out cycle, right? So, he's going to have a nice tie there instead of jump on. So, he's just going to pox out cycle. He's going to wedge and pop, right? Wedge and pop, right? Just to get us started. And again, things that he's being aware of is that when he wedges in here, that he's not pushing you too far over, right? He's just wedging in and going, wedging in and going. The next section of this is that you're going to pop, lock, pop, pop, and then lock, and then pop, and then back in, pop, and then lock, and then pop. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> you gotta think about it, right? <laughs> pop, lock, pop. Pop, lock, pop. Pop, lock, pop. Cool? Good to go? Mm -hmm. Alright, that was good.